What is up? In this tutorial, we are going to go over Spry validation of a password. And what this is, is you know when you go to a website and it asks you to create a password with either uppercase letters, um, uppercase letters and numbers, letters and numbers, and special characters. There's a lot of different options that some sites require you to do to follow are a lot of requirements that some sites require you to follow whenever you are creating a password and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how those sites do that using Dreamweaver okay so let's get started and we're going to create a spry validation password so go over here to the left in our insert group and click on spry validation password and it's going to ask you for an ID and a label I'm going to give it an ID of new password and the label is going to be create a password here we go and I've been having a little trouble trying to get my span to show up in my properties whenever I click inside of the span so I have to go inside of uh, my my page properties here and then just say OK and then it pops up with my properties so if you're having that same problem inside Dreamweaver click on the page properties inside of your properties uh, tab down here at the bottom and then just click on OK and it should pop up with the correct spry password properties. Alright, so here we have a lot of different options. We have the options for the amount of letters that we want to put in. Uh, we also, let's say, let's give it a, a min of 16 characters and a max of, or a min of 8 characters and a max of 16. And what that's saying is basically the password has to be between 8 and 16 characters. And below that we can give it some more options we can say that they have to have at least one letter and at least two numbers and we're just gonna leave the uppercase ones blank for now um, and we're gonna leave all the max blank um, and we're gonna set the min special characters to one and the special characters are things like question marks and exclamation points or periods uh, you want to make sure and be very specific about what special characters are to your user that way they know what it is some some people might and some people might not know but uh, for this example we're gonna use the question mark as a special character so just to just to review what we have clicked on here we have set the password to have a minimum number of one letters and a minimum number of two numbers and then a minimum special characters of one so I'm gonna run this try to save it and test it out here there we go so I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna type in something that is not legit and submit it and it says the minimum number of characters is not met okay of course I only typed in one so now I'm just gonna type in just letters as a password I'm gonna actually type the word password and that's eight characters but it does not meet the specified strength and that means that it does not have a number or a special character so I'm gonna add the number one but I'm not gonna add a special character and it's still going to give me the same error. So now I'm going to add a question mark and an explanation. And it's still saying that I'm not meeting the specified strength. So let's go back and let's check out our options here. We have set the min letters to one and the min numbers to two. So I only had one number inside so I'm gonna put another number right there and there we go it is good to go so now you can see how those sites use 
form validation to make sure that the user is creating a password of the specified strength. And you can do all of that right inside of Dreamweaver without even doing or writing any code yourself. You just have to fill in the correct um, the correct form inside of your properties panel and you're good to go. And that's it for this tutorial. Um, it, we're about finished with the spry validation series. We only have two more to go and after that we will do a wrap up of everything that has to do with forms and we'll sort of bring it all together and then we'll move on to more advanced uh, spry techniques that aren't uh, validation but more of more of a user I guess like interactive web pages using uh, the spry assets so make sure to continue watching um, hopefully you guys are enjoying these tutorials and learning new things um, we only have a few left so make sure you finish out the spry validation series and I will see you in the next tutorial